magical, improbable, just flat out fantastic. Those are a few of the words that could be used to describe the run of the Arizona women's basketball team this year. It won the WNIT championship after winning just six games last season. Sports director Jason Barr takes a look back at the Wildcats winning ride. If a picture is worth a thousand words, several pictures are worth 14,644 fans. If you would have said we're going to win the NIT and sell out and have almost 15,000 people, I said, huh? Cuban poet Jose Marti first said, charm is a product of the unexpected. After seven straight losing seasons, no one could have imagined trophies being awarded at McHale Center. But the Wildcats won their first two WNIT games. The story, picking up steam like an Ari McDonald drive to the basket. McDonald to the rim and she will put it in. The bigger crowds earning the Wildcats the ability to stay home. And then they won another and another and another. Star players like Kate Reese making new fans. Alumni offering support. Oh, this is Cherry Fry. I have to say congrats. I am proud. I'll be rocking my red and blue when y'all play. Congratulations on making it to the final of the NIT. Don't stop now. Go get the championship. Uh, Bear down, Arizona. Wishing you all the best from Louisiana. Finish it. Go Cats. The finals win, a victory for the ladies, an accomplishment for the university, and a feel-good moment for Tucson. This city's been amazing. McDonald named WNIT Tournament MVP for Arizona. I'm humble with my award. Kate Reese cutting down the nets, winning the WNIT as a player, just as current coach Adia Barnes did back in 1996. Barnes removing the laces, just as she's removed a culture of losing. I mean, this is a pretty good story. It may just be a chapter of a story. You see, all five starters return for next season, and fans should be back to see it.